What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from PocketNow.com and in this video we're taking a look at Opera Mobile 10 Beta 3. With previous versions of Opera Mobile 10, we mainly saw bug fixes and slight performance enhancements, but with this latest beta, Opera has actually included flashlight support. This allows us to watch embedded YouTube videos and other content we typically wouldn't be able to see otherwise. So let's take a look at this early implementation and how well it works on a device like the Touch Pro 2. So here we are on the PocketNow homepage after enabling plugins in the settings and if you pan around the site you'll notice that there are some placeholders for certain pieces of content. Many of these are simply to disable ads to help speed up page loading but if we go to the sidebar where we normally feature our latest video we can actually access and play it now. So let's zoom in by tapping once and we'll tap again to access the content and now we wait while the familiar YouTube player loads. Ah, there it is. So let's press play. And it should take a moment to load and then hopefully begin to play. There we go. As you just heard, the audio chops a bit in the beginning, but eventually it straightens out. The video footage isn't the best, but we can still recognize what's going on. If we double tap on it while it's playing, it'll actually expand to fit the screen. You can also rotate to landscape. I should note that performance depends highly on device hardware, so while playback is average to poor on a device like this, it's probably quite nice on a powerful device like the HD2. Okay, so let's take a look at one more video example. Okay, so now we're at YouTube.com and I've loaded the latest episode of The Console Wars from Technobuffalo.com. So it should load in a second. So let's go ahead and fit to the screen. Inside up. In the later rounds, we'll be comparing the gaming performance. But before we get to that, in this round, we'll be taking an in-depth look at the media playback features. So once again, hold on to your hats and get ready for some heavyweight game console action. It's LP from Techno Buffalo, and welcome to the next installment of the console. Okay, I think you get the point. So this was a look at Opera Mobile 10 with Flash. While performance wasn't great, having Flash support is definitely a step in the right direction to enhance the user experience and functionality of the browser. And although it's not full Flash, Flashlight 3.1 still enables us to view some Flash content on the web. Now, Opera states that this is only in its alpha stages and should be considered experimental, so we're excited to see how this pans out by the time Opera Mobile 10 comes out of beta. That's it for now, thanks for watching.